I was just the line cook in a kitchen, and we had awful uniforms, so I thought, what if we made amazing aprons? It was me going to fabric warehouses and feeling fabric, Japanese denim, chambrays, Italian chambrays, linens, and thinking, oh, that's a little too heavy. This one's a little too light. And so people will come with their designs and they say, I have brown and yellow in my restaurant, what do you think? And I'm like, okay, well, let's, let's hash this out. We're gonna make you an awesome uniform. When you look at a garment, you're just like, oh, it's purple because that's how it was born. No, it's not born purple, it's born white, actually. And it has a whole procedure to even get to that purple and to stay purple. So we have a dye house here in LA. It's like out of Breaking Bad. Everything put into these giant vats that look like they're out of like a witch movie. And then it gets put into a washer that's huge and you can stick 10 rolls of fabric in there. I'll make the design, it'll go to the cutters. Basically, it's this really awesome machine. It cuts it automatically via computer and 50 aprons can be cut at once. So it's with the sewers for about a week and a half. In the meantime, our production managers are just making sure that everything's being sewn properly by checking on the sewers, checking the machines. There's all these little details that I'll just catch. Are they using the right thread count? Is this the right angle? Are the lines straight? Did the pockets get bar tacks? You know, there's so many details to a neighbor and you'd think that we're building rockets here. Okay, I have two favorite models. One of them is wake up and fight. It's like, doesn't matter what is happening in your damn life, everyone else out there has problems too. The other one is, if the front door isn't open, you climb in through the window. The most creative people in the world are people that find solutions when it seems like there's none out there. I definitely have to get out of the office and not in front of a computer. My fire escape is totally a place. Love going to the park, biking and swimming and running. That's the kind of inspiration I get from real life. Most people would think we're crazy to do the amount of customization that we do. I want to make sure that everyone is so happy to be on the apron bandwagon. When I started this, I definitely didn't think that I was going to have an apron company. I was like, oh, this is going to be so fun, and I'm going to make aprons, and it's going to be awesome. Hopefully, we'll get into a few restaurants. Fast forward, and we're like across the country in every restaurant that I could possibly want to be in. So our dreams have sort of been achieved very quickly through a lot of hard work. Dreams are dreamed and someone's gotta go out and do them, right? The dreamers, the artists. And I'm happy that Los Angeles supports that.